class of doing what I call plank circles. I do 12 in one direction, 12 in the other direction. And make sure, that, yeah, you get into a standard plank position with my shoulders forward and my arms stacked directly underneath with them. And make sure when you are doing this, that it is your abs that are moving you around in circles because a lot of people are not engaging their abs fully and are using a lot of Flexors. So if you're not feeling this in your abs, then you're not doing it correctly. And make sure that your legs are fully engaged and your whole body is literally engaged in this. This is quite an intense exercise. Um, so you are probably not halfway through. It is pretty intense even for me. Make sure to do this at a moderate speed like I do so you've got a lot of time under tension in your abs so you can really tear the muscle fibres and get your abs to really grow so you can get some very ripped physical abs like myself. Now we're straight on to knee raises on the rings and yeah as you can see when I'm bringing my knees up I'm actually curving my body up and make sure again with this one that you're not using your hip flexors at all for this you're actually using your abs when you're engaging your abs fully then you're going to get the full benefits for your abs and it's going to be really really intense this is absolutely burning for me at this current point and make sure when you're coming down that you're not swinging all the way back and then swinging up because that makes it a lot easier i see a lot of people do that on a regular basis in the gym and that's not how you do strict form knee raises so with that i also make sure that i do 12 reps and as always with my ab exercises i try and rest as little as possible so as you can see i'm going straight from one ab exercise to the other but yeah you don't necessarily need to do this you've got to remember i'm quite an intermediate with ab exercises so i find that quite easy to do and now i'm on to a modification of leg raises which i call hip raises and again what i see a lot of people do they're using their legs and their hips to actually do this exercise but with me it is literally my abs that are coming up from the hinge point as you can see when watching the video now and I tried getting a friend to do that recently that I was training and he couldn't do it at all. But prior to that, he was finding it really, really easy, but it was because he was using his hip flexors rather than his abs. So to do this properly, just engage your abs and lift up from your abs. And it may seem this is not hard for me, but this is a real challenge. And at the end, I do a slight dragon flag. As you will see in a minute, it's not perfect form when going actually up, but definitely perfect form coming down. And I'm doing this last one at the end to really fatigue my ab muscles. And this is one of my favorite ab exercises and one of the hardest ones to do. And with that exercise, also make sure to do 12 reps as well. And if you find that one too hard, you don't need to hit raises, just to lift your legs up, just do leg raises. Now I'm on to knee to elbows, and I actually do a twist modification to the outside, as you can see here. And what I actually noticed when watching this video, my form is not actually perfect. As you can see, my shoulders are slightly backwards, so my arms aren't completely stacked underneath my shoulders. So ideally, I'd rather that my shoulders are locked forward and my arms are parallel underneath. And that position is identical to doing a standard plank. And this ab exercise is really focusing more on the obliques. So yeah, I made sure that I did three exercises that are more focused on the obliques and then three exercises that are more focused upon the abs. And in this ab workout I did, I did six different ab exercises and three rounds of each exercise. And I'm telling you now, this ab workout is not for the faint-hearted or weak-minded. So anyone that is not quite advanced in calisthenics, I do not recommend trying this workout at all until you have got more advanced with calisthenics and your abs are a lot more used to doing very intense workouts with very short resting intervals. Now I'm on to good old crunches and I'm making sure the majority of the time when I'm coming down that my back is just hovering over the bench rather than going completely flat on it. So my muscles are completely under tension the whole entire time. And I'm making sure that I am coming all the way up to the top and that it is my abs that are fully engaged and that is all that is bringing me up to the top. And with this exercise, just with all the ab exercises, I make sure that it's very good controlled form with a moderate amount of speed. You really don't want to be going fast at all because then your muscles are hardly having any time under tension. It's not really going to fatigue the muscles and it's going to be a lot easier. And a lot of people in the CrossFit movement 
tend to do their reps really, really fast. And yeah, it's just not gonna give you the greatest muscle grain benefits. And you'll see a lot of people in the fitness movement that do not advise against doing crunches whatsoever. But yeah, I think it's a load of misinformation. My body absolutely loves them. And I really feel that it is really working my abs really intense to help me get those well-defined ab muscles that I have and keep them consistently over time. And now we're onto one of the really intense ab exercises again, which is hanging leg circles. And how you do this one is make sure your arms are extending all the way out and that you're dead hanging and then you're using your abs and obliques to make your legs go around in circles like I'm showing you in this video. And I normally do 12 reps, but I actually did 10 reps in this next round of 12 reps and then the last round I did 10 reps. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you like the video, that you share it with your friends and you subscribe to get a lot more calisthenics workout videos from me on a regular basis. And make sure you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those games.